Welcome back to the Miami Hurricanes. The offseason is over. We're at Redshirt Players. We'll check out the roster as well. It's a pretty decent roster. The offensive line will probably be our, our I don't want to say downfall, because I think we're going to have a good year, our area of concern. Let's put it that way. Let's start at quarterback. It is the legend Ron Salas coming in at a 98 overall. Brandon King was a good backup last year. He'll remain in that role with Brandon Cook waiting in the wings to take over next year. He's only 5'11", but look at that speed. Look at that acceleration. And his throw power and throw accuracy are pretty decent as well. Already as good as Brandon King. Uh, but Ronnie Salas coming into his senior year. Probably going to be a top five pick in the draft next year. 6'5", 220, 83 speed. I mean, he, he's unreal. And then we will redshirt Nick King. Uh, and, and we might use him as an athlete next year. I'm looking to use Cook this year as well, perhaps out at receiver. We'll see how it shakes out. Running back, we got Brian Jamison. Remember who we redshirted last year as a junior just for this situation. So he could be back. And we could have two years with him, 96 speed, 96 acceleration. He's a beast. And then we have a nice change of pace with Parrish, who's a bit more of a bruiser up between the tackles. Yes, his strength is actually lower than Jamison, which is why he's worse. But his break tackle's better. Um, and he's just, he's a decent, decent runner. Now, you know, not not great, nothing, nothing outstanding. Um, I'm not the one who, who recruited him. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Um, Thomas is a decent back, though, right behind him. So uh, he should be good to go, hopefully, next year as the starter. I don't know if I can start Parrish uh, as slow as he is. We'll redshirt Taylor and Larry Brady. Brady I'm not excited about, uh, but Taylor, I think, has, has a bright career ahead of him. Fullback sticking with Lance Shelby. Uh, he was good last year. I thought he was actually very good, not only in the passing game, but blocking as well. Receiver-wise, we're going to redshirt Riley Mayo and Cedric Bowser, two freshmen. And we have Jacques and Samson at receiver. Jacques is the only senior in this group. We're not going to recruit any receivers this year because, as you see, we'll still have seven going into next season. We have more speed. We have the most speed this year we've ever had at receiver. 95, 92, 91, 95, 94, 93. Uh, just speed everywhere at the receiver position. Calhoun will be that third receiver. And Coker, we will definitely get on the field. 95 speed. I, I gotta find a way to get him on the field. But Jacques uh, will be the go-to guy this year. A lot of drops last year. Needs to improve that. We'll see if he can. Uh, and Sim Samson had a good year last year as well. Hopefully he can build on that and become a star. Williams and Austin. Austin, first team All-America last year. I expect him to build on that. And Williams very good as well um, but Austin will be the starter there and then we're going to redshirt Cruz I cut um, Everson because he was a senior and he was going to be third string anyway so I thought we might as well get Ostrander in there and uh, and that way we can redshirt Cruz and, and he, I think Cruz will have a fine career left tackle Simpson we moved him from right tackle he's a beast he is an absolute monster 92 overall we'll redshirt Earl Smith James Britt ready to go next year. Hopefully it'll be like an 80 overall, and then he'll step in at either left or right tackle. Left guard, Michael Vaughn, sophomore. He and Carter will probably battle it out a bit for the guard job, but right now it's Vaughn's to lose. Center, 94, Lenny Washington, absolute monster. My left guard, my left tackle and my center are, are incredible. But other than that, it's it's so so on the line. Uh, right guard, you've got Roberts, very good as well, to be fair. Very good as well. My three seniors are good. And then at right tackle, just an 84 for Ryan Gross. He's finally starting this year after being the backup uh, for the past couple seasons. But he's a pretty good one, 84 overall. And, again, we have a 79 freshman waiting in the wings, and we will redshirt Henry. Left end, Aaron Johnson, good player. Only a sophomore, and he's an 85 overall, so he should be a stud uh, in three years' time as a senior, we'll redshirt Jerry Jacobs, who could also be quite good. Travis Brown and Mooney, we're going to redshirt both of them, and we'll just sort out the end situation. Because Sam Vincent, I'm not really sure I want him starting. 
So we'll sort that out and see who will do there. Perhaps Michael Lawson or Brent Smith need to be that end. Uh, we're so good at D-tackle. People are not going to be able to run up the middle. Edwards and Pruitt combined. I mean, these guys up the middle are going to be absolute beasts. You know, I may move Pruitt, actually, to right end. I mean, look at the speed and, and, and stuff. And then that means Lawson could step up as the other D-tackle, which I think would give our D-line more balance. So expect that to happen. We'll redshirt Simpson, Miller, and Pace. Left outside linebacker. Um, we'll redshirt him. I can't. Yeah. We'll redshirt this middle linebacker, McClellan. We're okay, middle linebacker. It's not our best position, but we got two young guys. So we get, we'll have three years with them. Brown and Atkinson, 86 speed. Um, that they're they're both quite good. And by the time they're seniors, this middle linebacking core is going to be nasty. Right outside linebacker Carpenter. I'll probably redshirt him next year when I move him to end. I just have to get a couple more outside linebackers in uh, that I can kind of cycle through. Crum and Caldwell. <clears throat> Uh, very good corners. I mean, that's as good as corners uh, we've ever had, for sure. Crum and Caldwell here. And then Richard and McDonald waiting to take over next year. I'm excited about both of them. So happy with the future at cornerback. Even Moss and Sims should be pretty good as well. Free safety, Philip Green. Good player. Not great, but solid. And 93 acceleration, which you want out of a free safety as he's closing down on those receivers. And Rashid Mark is the backup, just a freshman. He should start his junior year and be very good. Robert Graham will get the red shirt. Uh, Jeremy Holy Cross starting as a red shirt freshman at strong safety along with Brian Vincent. Uh, a junior, 88 speed, 94 XL. Holy Cross is pretty fast as well, 85 and 91. And then the backup is Keith Taylor, who is a decent player. Joseph and Leslie will get the red shirt. And finally, Freshman kicker, Ken Webb. He is not as good a kicker as we've had the past few years. I've been spoiled by good kickers. Um, his range, we'll see what it is maybe in the first couple games, but I expect that it'll probably be 50 will be the absolute max and maybe maybe around 45. Um, yeah, that, that's my expectation. Punter, we, he was a uh, first-team all-conference punter last year, I believe. Todd Patrick, a junior good player there you have it that's the squad should be a fun one let's get to the schedule all right here we are at schedule and i'm starting to get a little bit frustrated because they keep making me start conference games in week two which means i can never play good out of conference games until week nine or i have to do it week one and It's just frustrating because I want to play good out-of-conference games, and I've changed this to week four twice. So I would have week one, two, and three to try to get uh, good non-conference games, and it, it won't change it. And I don't know why it won't change it. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really irritating. Um, so we're doing this again. Um, this time we're playing Syracuse at home, North Carolina. Notre Dame, I mean, look how garbage this schedule is. It's a B- minus because the ACC is so bad. This might be my last year in the ACC just because it sucks. All right, we'll play the first game, TCU. We will film that one. We'll film, obviously, Notre Dame. I said we'd do NC State, so that's three. And then we'll obviously do Florida State because that um, is the big rivalry. That would be four games. We'll choose a fifth. What do we want to do? It's between Carolina, Georgia Tech. We'll play at Georgia Tech. I haven't played Georgia Tech yet. That'll be a fun one. So Georgia Tech's not bad either. Uh, at Georgia Tech, at Florida State, at Notre Dame, TCU at home, and NC State at home. Those will be the five we're playing. And then from week nine on, I will just play it offline, all four of those games. This is, this is 12 games, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 games. Perfect. There you have it. It's not a great schedule. I'm starting to get a little fed up with the ACC. 
Uh, maybe it'll get better this year. Maybe teams will be ranked and, and their overalls will improve. Let's check out the preseason rankings uh, and, and ratings and things before we get into it. Let's head over there. Should be a fun season. All right, here we are at the preseason polls. We are coming in at number six. We're not as good as last year. Uh, slightly worse on defense. We were a B last year. We're a B minus this year, uh, which makes sense. We lost two All-Americas. Um, better on offense, though. Last year we were an A minus. This year we're an A, which makes sense because Salas is better. Jamison is better. Um, our receivers are slightly worse, but not a whole lot. Our offensive line is slightly worse, but not a ton worse. Um, we're B plus overall, but again, with our schedule, I feel like we can we can do something. Georgia is, is unbelievable. 99s across the board. Uh, Ohio State's very good. Ole Miss, Texas, Mississippi State. Let's check out our competition. TCU about on our level. Uh, slightly worse, I'd say. Defense is better than ours, but, but often significantly worse than ours. Um, who else do we play this year? Let's see. See, that's what I'm saying. There's no one even in the top 25 or even close. NC State, they're good, actually. They're really good. 93, 89, 89. There you go. There you go, NC State. So we'll play them. That'll be a fun one. Who else do we play? We play Navy. They're B-minus again. We should beat them pretty handily. Um, who else? Florida State. Florida State's gotten better. They were struggling there for a few years, but 91, 89, 86, B-plus overall. Notre Dame is very good again, 97, 94, 95, A-plus overall, so they are going to be a tough one. But nobody's ranked highly. That's the problem. Georgia Tech, solid, not great. 87, 86, 86, not bad. Should be a tough game against them. And then we'll just check out a couple more. North Carolina, B's across the board, decent team. And bunch more down here. Clemson's not bad, actually. 89. Yeah, they're not bad. That, that won't be an easy game. These rankings seem shady. ECU, we're playing them at home. We should beat them fairly easily. Wake Forest is terrible. Terrible. Holy cow. And there are the rest. All right. You know? Now, let's check out preseason All-America, and then we'll get into the game preseason All-Americans, and then we get into the game. First team All-Americans, Jaron Austin, of course, after his huge year last year. Nobody else for us, but that's all right. Anybody on the second team? Simpson, the left tackle. Yes, he was great at right tackle last year. I expect him to slide over and do quite well at left tackle this year. And then in terms of the conference, Salas, first team, all-conference, preseason selection. Austin Simpson, Washington, my center, which makes sense. Defensively, Pruitt, yeah, he's a beast. Only a, a junior as well. And second team? Anybody on the second team? No. Well, that's a slap in the face. Let's go prove them wrong. Let's go smash TCU in week one. Welcome to Miami, Florida. It's week one, not even week one. It's zero week in college football. Only th four games on, I believe. Yep, four games. We are the biggest one. Number six, Miami. Number 10, TCU to kick off the season in style in Miami. Let's get to it. We're kicking off first. Let's see what the Horny Frogs can do on their first possession. Decent drive going. Second, second five, second and three. Oh, they're just driving right down on us. That was a little too easy, defense. Okay, okay. Also, I moved Nevada to the Big 12. Uh, they replaced UNLV. I thought that would stir up some controversy out west. Uh, UNLV has only won about three games the past five years. So I thought, uh, you know, number one team in the nation, Nevada, fair, fair to put them uh, in the Big 12, get them in a solid conference, move UNLV to the Mountain West, um, give Nevada some, some decent competition. Salas. Oh, that's a heck of a throw. He caught it. 
He caught it. What? I didn't even think that was really very close. I thought he easily caught that. Oh my goodness. Got him. Got him, Samson. First down. First down. That's a big first down, actually. Um, we needed that. We needed that to start this game off after what their offense did to our defense that first drive. Jamison, the junior running back. Not a whole lot on the ground on our first two runs. That's a bit concerning, but it's obviously still early. We'll go slot under one of my faves. I'm going to like the two tight end sets this year. Our tight ends are really good. Our, um, what a throw that is. What a throw. He loves that throw. I remember we completed it, I think, in the Navy game or in the ACC championship last year. Watch this throw. Oh, that's perfect. Brian Jacques with his first catch of the year. And we're rolling into TCU territory. I wanted to play Oregon this year, couldn't get him on the schedule, so we'll have to do that home-and-home home return maybe next year if we can. Here's Jamison, 10-5, touchdown. Look at the speed. That's the difference between he and Denman. He has that extra gear that Denman didn't have. Jamison takes it to the house. I mean, it's almost a 10-point increase in speed. I think Denman was an 87 Jameson's a 96, so it's just a massive difference. Oh, we recovered a fumble. I accidentally ran a play, but we recovered a fumble. Let's go, boys. Accidentally ran a play. That was an incomplete pass, but so be it. And we got sacked. Straight up the gut. Unblocked. Pitt and Notre Dame. Notre Dame desperately needing a better season than last year when they really struggled. Third and 18. It's tough. It's tough. He wasn't even looking at it. He wasn't even looking for the ball, and that's why I threw it. He had no idea where the ball was. Look. Look, no idea. And he just reaches up and picks it. Come on. Come on with that. That's garbage. He didn't even know where the ball was. He had no clue. No clue where that ball was. No idea where that ball was. Jameson. Jameson. Jameson with another big run out across the 40. That speed is a difference maker. That's what we didn't have last year. Denman had a terrific season. Like, don't get me wrong. He had over 2,000 yards. But it's because our offensive line was so stinking good last year. This year, as you can already see, our offensive line is, is a fair bit worse. So that speed is going to be a major factor in the effectiveness of our running game this year. So... It's nice to have a guy this year that has that speed. Here's Williams, almost first down, third and one. It's all right. We'll run this power row here and get it. Down 14-7, late first quarter. Exciting week zero game between two of the top 10 teams in the nation in the preseason. TCU out of the Big 12 and the Miami Hurricanes out of the ACC. What's frustrating is I can't get the schedule to change for the ACC. It's very, very annoying. Linebacker was really fast. Now Salas is going to be exhausted. He's got one more play in him here in this first half, first quarter. If I like it, we'll run it. If not, yeah, I like it. I like it. We're outnumbering them. I like it. I like it very much. First down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hurry it up. Let's hurry it up. See if we can't get another playoff. If I like the box, we're running it. If not, we'll just take it to the second quarter. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, Shelby. If you block that guy, I score. 
If you block that guy, I score, man. It's frustrating. That's frustrating. That could have been a touchdown. Blitzing. They're blitzing off this left side. Gotta get out of there. There it is. Shelby, first down. First down. Oh, <laughs> and he runs over the cornerback into the red zone for the Hurricanes. First and 10 from the 16 yard line. Austin's not as good a blocker as Williams, and that hurts sometimes, but he's such a good pass catcher. I can't afford to not have him on the field on every play, in every formation, just in case. So, you know, it is what it is. Right when I say he's a good pass catcher, he does that. We can't afford to do stuff like that in games like this. Good run. Oh, what a frustrating start to this game, though. What an incredibly frustrating start to this game. Two interceptions that were absolute garbage. There you go, Austin. Don't drop it this time. Defense got the stop last time, which is huge. Needed it. Second and one. I really want to win a national title this year. I feel like we have both the team and the schedule to be able to do it. Good throw that time. Good throw that time, Ronnie. I mean, we have a 98-rated quarterback who's thrown two picks today, but both of them were perfect throws. Neither of them were his fault. The, the first one was just a game garbage glitch. And the second one, Austin really blew it. Basically handed the ball to that guy. So, I'm not worried about it. We know how good he is. And I expect him to continue to be so. Second and one. We're actually going to run this up the middle. They got two guys outside. I don't like the stretch play under those circumstances. He fumbled. He fumbled, but we got it back. My goodness. Can we stop trying to turn the ball over? Dodging bullets, man. All right, need a touchdown. Outside could be open here. Outside could be open here. Shelby, go block that guy. Where, where are you going? Watch my fullback. Where's he going? Go block that guy. And it's a touchdown. We're celebrating in the end zone right now if you just block that one singular individual. Jock, first down. First and goal. That's good stuff. A little drag to the number one wide out. First and goal from the three. Coming out in goal line. Um. Yeah, I want to run this way. They are overloaded on that side. There it is. There is Parrish. Are, is that a joke that he's not in? Is that a joke? He was... The ball is touching the line. The ball's touching the line. There it is. Eat it. God. All right, all right, all right. Back on level terms. Come on, defense. If we can get a stop and a score of any kind before the half. Oh, my kicker is not good, y'all. <laughs> my kicker is not good. Before, we, all we had to do was get to the 40, and we were in field goal range. Now, it may be we need to get... I don't even know. 
I don't even know. Maybe the 30, it may even be the 25. Freshman kicker, yikes. Somebody's blitzing, somebody's blitzing, yeah. Double A-gap blitz, bold, bold to start the drive. Second and inches coming up. We're going to go hurry up here. Normally I wouldn't, but because my kicker's so bad, I feel like we're going to need more yards, and I'll probably do more hurry up and be a bit more aggressive in these situations this season. He got it. He got it. Yeah. Okay. Still three timeouts, so we got plenty of time to try to get him field goal range or get a touchdown, but I don't want to dilly-dally on like a second in inches when we could just hurry up and, and run the ball and get it, you know? We're going to run this here, too, though. Jameson can't quite get through. Ah, we'll go hurry up. We'll run the play we were going to run. There it is. Coker first down. Coker's the speedster. It was between him and Calhoun at that number three roll. But you know I like to send those seams with the three receiver, so... I made it Coker because he is, he's a 95 speed instead of a 93. It's, it's a significant difference. It really is. Or a 91. Sorry, not even a 93, a 91. So it's definitely a significant difference. Got him. Got Jock. Got Brian Jock. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big play. I saw, I saw it was cover three. I knew that guy would drop deep with the, the seam route. Had the dig coming. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Got him. Austin. Austin. Ten. Five. Touchdown. Touchdown. Let's go. First team All-America right there into the end zone. First round pick, slinging it to first team All-America. That's how we do it at the U. Oh, we... We scored! We scored! We scored! I think they dropped the snap on the punt. I think they dropped the snap on the punt, and we recovered it in the end zone for a touchdown. Holy cow, boys. Oh, man. Oh, danger time now for TCU. We're getting the ball. We're getting the ball. Up 14. Early third quarter. I want to go deep. I want to hit Coker deep for the touchdown right here. I'll be honest. But I don't want to force it. Got him. Got him. Coker. Coker. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. First play of the half. First play of the half. We broke this game wide open. Oh my goodness. In two minutes, we've scored 21 points. Two game minutes. 21 points. Coker with his first touchdown as a Miami Hurricane. And we have opened up this game 35 to 14 we are smashing the horny frogs right now come on defense more stops more stops are good mm, not so much third and five they got it all right that's okay that's okay you'll get some more stops later i believe in you sorta b minus this year not so good Jameson left side, bounce it outside, almost a first down, I'll take nine, hold on to that ball this half, Brian, hold on to that ball, a score of any kind here, and, and I'm feeling really good about our chances, I am known to blow games from time to time, but if we get a score here, I think it would be really tough for them to come back, especially if it's a nice grind it out long drive like I'm often capable of. So Man, oh my gosh, another fumble. 
Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me with this? Stop fumbling. Oh, we got the ball at the one. Good job, defense. Good job, defense. We have to stop fumbling the football. Oh my gosh, that linebacker came through untouched. <laughs> I thought surely that was a safety. I thought, I thought we were dead in the water. I thought we were dead in the water. Wow. There's Jamison out the backfield. Nice catch, first down. Lovely. Little breathing room for us. Love to see it. Love to see it. I don't run this enough. This Lions Power O, it, it works, though. It's worked the few times I've run it. We'll see. Yeah, that guy goes over. We got numbers on the outside. Yep. Yeah, I like that play. I like that play a lot. First down across the 25. I got to run that more. It, it kind of a little bit of a misdirection play without taking the amount of time that like a counter play takes so I like it I like it a lot Jameson Shelby get the block Shelby get the block Jameson down the sideline look at the speed look at the speed inside the TCU 40 who boys we have some speed on the field this year 96 running back 93 Four, 95 number one receiver, 95 number three receiver. I mean, it is scary amounts of speed right now. I was pretty much just throwing that away. I was trying to throw like a back shoulder, but I figured that's where the ball would end up. So I'm not disappointed. I probably should have run the ball, but I was too excited. I have to get in my mind that we're not in field goal range right now, where last year we would have easily been right now. This was this was chump change last year. But right now, we are nowhere close. We need a first down and then some. Swing slant. Let's go. Third and ten from the 39. Probably four down territory, really. I'm not going to punt from here. Got him. Catch the ball, Samson. I think it's I think we go for this I, I don't want to punt I don't like punting inside the 45 unless it's you know fourth and we're definitely not gonna get it you know fourth and 15 or whatever fourth and 10 though that seems that seems gettable I'm gonna send him deep as well got him got him Austin <laughs> I love it. I like this team. I'm glad we're here for another year. I'm glad we're here. I love all my guys. I recruited all these guys except Salas and Jameson too, actually. But watching Austin, watching Samson, watching Coker, I mean, those are the guys I recruited. It's so fun to see them doing what they're doing on the stage, this big national stage. Gonna run it. Salas for the corner. He's in. Salas is in for the touchdown. Ronnie boy. Ronnie boy having a heck of a game. Couple picks, but neither were really his fault. We're up 42 to 21. Doubling him up. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. One more stop and a score, and this one will be over. But we'll see if the defense can hold up their end of the bargain they have. They have indeed. We're going for the jugular right now. We're going for the jugular right now. A little PA clear out. Split safeties. Oh, he's coming down. He's blitzing. Hmm. Keep him in the block. It wasn't even the blitz that killed us. It was the fact that 65 did not block anyone. I, I, he got absolutely killed by that guy. It wasn't even the blitz, which is the most annoying part. If they get us on the blitz, so be it. But when we have everybody blocked and some guy just chooses not to block, then it's irritating. Look at Jameson. Look at the speed he's gone. <laughs> he, 
He's gone! Look at the speed! We have so much speed on the field this year. It's scary. This look I mean, this looks like the Miami teams of old. 95. Boys, this looks like the Miami teams of old. I mean, when you had Andre Johnson, you had Clinton Portis, you had Willis McGahey, Frank Gore, Kevin Beard, Roscoe Parrish, all on the same field together. And now you're looking at this Miami team with Coker, with Jacques, with Jameson, with Austin. It is scary the amount of speed we have on this field. Absolutely terrifying. The ACC should be wetting themselves right about now. Look at Jamison again. Look at the speed. Just going to run out of bounds. Don't want to get him hurt. 297 in his first game as a starter. He was backing up uh, Denman before this. So what, what a starting debut for Brian Jamison. And as we head to the final quarter, it's all... Hurricanes right now 49 to 21 we have opened it up we're going to play action you bet your sweet butt we are here Shelby in the flat yet again you can't stop the man you can't stop the tight end turn fullback you can try but you will fail All right, counter didn't work, if you didn't notice. Second and 14 from the 34. Actually, if we don't get any more yards, it'll be interesting to see my kicker's range. I don't think he can make it from 51, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oh, what a throw! <laughs> Ron Salas is so good. Did you see him squeeze that between the safeties? Holy cow. Watch this throw. Right between the safeties. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We have the best quarterback in the nation. We have, right now, the best quarterback in the nation. Hands down, going to be the number one overall pick in the draft. He has to be. He has to be. How do you let him score on third and goal from the 15? Pitiful. I mean, Ronnie Salas is unbelievable. We got the backups in now. How embarrassing is that for TCU, an alleged top 10 team? We got the backups in with five minutes to go because we're up by 28. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm going to run it again here, actually, because I want to see what my kicker's range is. He won't make it from here. But if I get to, like, 35, does he have a chance? Oh, did I get it? I got it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll keep running it. No problem. No problem. I got it on third and nine. Draw play. I love it. Good job. Good blocking, boys. Oh, here's Thomas. Thomas's first carry as a hurricane is a nice one. It's an eight-yard run. Read it nicely. Just took what was given to him and got an eight-yard gain out of it. What a start to the season this is. What a start to the season this is. Thomas again, and it's a first down. Parish first and goal. We are running all over this horny frog defense right now. We are putting them in the ground. Six feet under. Hopefully they'll have a good year, though. I don't want to demoralize them too much because I need them to have a good year. Parrish is in for the touchdown. 63 to 28. An outside shot at 70, boys. An outside shot at 70. It's 
especially if we get a quick stop. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Backup defense is in. Our first string defense isn't very good, so our second string defense definitely isn't. Tell you what, though, we're going to try it. I mean, we're not going to throw the ball, but we will run it a few times and see if we can't break off a nice one. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do another run. See what's up. Uno Mas, Uno Mas. Let's break it off for thirty-seven and a touchdown and hit seventy burger. Ah. Nothing. That's okay, boys. What a win to open the season. A 28-point beatdown of the TCU Horny Frogs, number 10 in the nation. We'll see how their season goes, but it's a great start to our season. Coming up, we've got Syracuse, North Carolina, and then we go away to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Let's check out the stats and we will get you on your merry way. How many? 705 of total offense. 339, 366. Holy cow. Holy cow. Salas was awesome. 17 of 24 for 366. Two tough picks that I don't think were his fault. 293 for Brian Jameson. Parrish, 9 for 36. Thomas, 2 for 11. And then receiving-wise, 4 for 98 for Austin. Look at all these guys that caught passes. Seven different guys. Coker, 2 for 90 and a touchdown. Samson caught a touchdown, and Austin caught one as well. Very balanced passing game. Defensively, I know we got two turnovers. What else do we get? Sack from Johnson. Nice. Only a sophomore. It's his first year as a starter. I like that. Couple tackles for us. Johnson got two. Nichols got one. Middle linebacker. And then, yeah, forced fumble. Oh, he got the block. Roy Nichols. Holy cow. He blocked the punt, recovered a fumble, and forced a fumble. Holy cow. And then Crum. Nice. Pat Crum. Senior corner. I love it. Forced and recovered the other fumble. That's good stuff, boys. A very balanced defensive effort as well. Nobody with too many tackles. Jeremy Holy Cross in his first game. Five tackles. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. There you have it, boys. A 1-0 start to the year and an absolute beatdown of the TCU Horny Frogs. We will see you in South Bend in a few weeks. Can't wait to be there with you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take it easy.